welcome back to the math goose where in math 8 we're talking about exponents specifically in this video we're going to be going over um, exponents 0.4 and then we're going to start on question 3 as you guys know this is the review stuff um, from past units so let's go ahead and get started okay so I have I'm going to solve negative 3x to the third equals uh, 2187. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide by negative 3. So I get x to the third is equal to um, so 2187 divided by th negative 3 is negative 729. Okay, I'm going to take a cube root of both sides. I'm left with x is equal to the cube root of negative 729. Um, when I get into my was in my calculator. Okay, we're going to do cube root of 729 gives us nine. So if we got 9 times 9 times 9, okay, so we get 9. Okay, so the cube root of negative 729 is, in fact, just simply negative 9. So x equal to negative 9. Okay, use the points 12, 11, and 72, 5 to create a linear function. Okay, I'm going to go 11 minus 5 and 12 minus 72, giving me 6 over negative 60. Okay, giving me a slope of negative 1 over 10. Okay, I need to go back in and substitute one of these in for y and x. So y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So my y value is 11, um, negative 1 over 10 times 12 plus b. And after I solve that, I'm going to get 12.2 is equal to b. And then I can write my equation y equals negative 1 tenth. Um, x plus 12.2. Okay. Determine whether each is a function, right? Yes or no? Not a function. Okay, here we're going up 3. Um, we have two x inputs that are the same and two different y outputs, so this is not. And then here, once we simplify, we get yes. Okay, so A is, B and C are not. Okay, the reason B or C is not is because it can't pass a vertical line test. Any vertical line you draw from here to here, or from here on out, would be touching the line twice. Okay, and our last question for this video. Okay, Henry cuts across the field as he is walking home from school. How much did he reduce his walk distance compared to going around the field? Okay, so there's a field, 50 meters by 120. We need to figure out what this length is. Okay, because we know that this is 120, this is 50. If he's going to walk all the way around here, then he walks 170. We need to figure out how much he walks here. So 120 squared plus 50 squared is equal to C squared. Um, so we're going to go 120 squared is... 14 
400. And then 50 squared is 2,500 equal to C squared. 14, 400 minus 2,500 is 1190 or 900. Okay, I'm going to take the square root of 11,900 and that's equal to C. Eleven nine hundred. Taking the square root of it. Unless I've made a mistake somewhere. Clearly, I made a mistake right here. I'm supposed to add these, not subtract. So I'm going to. Um, 16,900, so I take the square root of that and I get C is equal to 130. Okay, so this is 130. Okay, so we have, we've walked 130, or Jim, or Henry walks 130, it's compared to 170, so it is 40 meters shorter. Okay. If you have any questions on these, go ahead and let me know. Um, hopefully my mistake didn't confuse you if you are following along through these this section of the homework.